In this video, we will be looking at configuring your web server. Once again, we're going to connect through the Azure portal. You should already have your web server installed. That was done in a previous video. Then what we're going to do is configure FTP access. FTP is the process that we're going to use to upload the code you write on your local computer to the web server you set up. We are also going to get MySQL login and password information so we can connect our databases up. And then you're also going to add me to your Microsoft Azure portal. So that way if you have any problems or questions, I can come in, I can look at it and tell you what's wrong or where you need some help. Uh, once again, I'm going to follow along the notes I have posted in Learn It Stout. They're underneath week one, creating your website. The document is titled Configuring Your Web Server. Okay, so we'll log into our Azure web portal. All I'm doing is typing, starting to type portal, and you're, you'll see that because we've been there before. It says, do you want to go there? I click on it. And I'm here in my Azure portal. This, these are the servers we set up before. So this is our web app. This is our actually web service. This is our MySQL database. This is some marketing and analyzing. And then this is our, our service plan, our student access that we get for Azure. Right now we're gonna configure our FTP access. So from the dashboard right here, we click on our ICT 475 username with the little globe icon click on that opens up our web app um, information in the settings pane over here on the right side we scroll down until we get to deployment credentials right here for deployment credentials we click on that and then as you can read here this sets up our FTP user now we can't use the same user that we've used to log into this for security reasons. So we're gonna create a new one. I'd like everybody to use ICT USER, all one word together, no spaces. And now the password I'm going to use is capital I, capital C, capital T, capital U, lowercase s, lowercase e, lowercase r, one, two, three. And once again, we repeat that capital I, capital C, capital T, capital U, lowercase s, lowercase e, lowercase r, one, two, three. Now, when we've entered in those passwords, it should be, we should have all green boxes here. The check mark here means this, this is a valid username. Basically, it doesn't exist already for us. And then the password here needs to have some complexity requirements. It needs to have an uppercase and a lowercase and a number. That's what this the middle check mark for and the bottom one is the passwords match. So once we have that set up, we go ahead and click save. And as we can see, we get a little update notice here. It says resetting deployment credentials. Takes a minute here. And with that, we've successfully reset them. So we're good to go. So I can close this pane, close the setting panes here, close the setting pane here. So I'm back to my dashboard. Next, we want to get our SQL login information. So once again, from our dashboard here, I go to ICT 475 MySQL. That's our database. I click on that. It opens up our MySQL database. It has the information about it. At this point in time, over here in the settings window, I go and I click on properties. Now, make a note of this, this information. The host name here, whoops, the host name we need, so you can highlight it, copy, and then paste it into a, a different document so it's easy to use. Or once again, we have these pages over here. You can click the copy, copies it to the clipboard, and I can paste it in a document. I'm going to stick it in a Word document. We need the username. So we need the host name, we need the username, and then we need the password. We need those three fields. And then the last item we need is I would like to have you add me to your Azure account. 
That way, if there's problems, I can come in, I can see what's going on, I can help you troubleshoot anything going on. So at this point in time, now the last part I'd like you to do is add me in as a user to your Azure account. That way, if there's any problems, I can come in, I can look around, hopefully figure out what's wrong and let you know how to fix it. To do that, what we have to do is on the left-hand side, we go over here and click on resource group because I want to be entered in at the root level here. Then click on the ICT 475 resource group. Remember we created that earlier. Click on that and once again we have our scrolling panes here so we can go back and forth. In the settings window here, click on users and then we go to add. At this point in time we select the role. Select the role. Please make me a owner so that way I can have access to all the underlying features. Then it looks to add a user. This actually looks and gives you access to everybody in the UW Stout email directory. But what you can do is type in my email address. That's Olson K E S O N K E. Put in my address, and then you'll see it brings me up. At that point in time, go ahead, click my name, so it's highlighted, and then click Select. Now over here, once again, in this ad access pane, it's owner, and then it's one user. At that point in time, go ahead and click OK. Goes through, adds me in fairly quick, and that's all there is. In this video, we set our FTP access, we set our username and password, we got our MySQL login information, and then we also added me, your instructor, to your account so I can come in and look if there's any Azure problems. Thank you.